This is Charlie Do Right. I wanted to. This is a late update. I'm probably going to upload all these videos at the same time, so they're not going to be uh, in a very good order. But here's a. Uh, I went ahead and I just decided to take the rest of this thing apart and uh, accept it as a failure. I'm going to try to build with this. Um, here's the remnants of the coil. Um, it's kind of a bummer. Like I said, I won't be able to. I won't be able to reuse any of this stuff. I, I think I tore it up too much. Here's the pickup coil. And here's the condenser. Um, I don't think it's leaking oil, but it's it's got quite a few good mars on it. So here's where the electricity comes in. I might try to utilize this possibly on a, on a, an idea that I've had. I haven't introduced yet, but I'll let you guys out here shortly. So here's all the parts, and this is all that's left. But yeah, what happened was, what killed this one is, this wire goes to the pickup coil, or at least one of these, and the, the, the moisture got in inside of there, and just, it ate the wire out. It turned green, and it, it looks like it broke, it broke connection somewhere. Alright, so here's what I got. So I try to utilize things that I have laying around if at all possible. Now, um, I do have, I'm trying to bring this over without breaking everything behind me, because my garage is a mess and I am kind of embarrassed by it, so I don't really want to show it. So I could play around with this. This is a pickup coil out of a, out of a Chevrolet. Um, a very very large deal. I think you guys kind of all recognize this. I have played with this. It will work, but I just don't like all the wiring involved. I mean, I wouldn't have had to have like about a half a dozen wires going everywhere, and uh, I just I just don't really want to do that. I was hoping to try to create something that I can hide behind the flywheel if at all possible. And right now this is just an an idea. So what I have got is I have a Toyota pickup, or sorry, a Toyota um, spark plug uh, coil. I had it, what happened was I had an engine blow up last year, so I have extras, extra parts and pieces. So I have um, an extras. This is out of a Toyota Camry 2.4 liter. This is coil and plug. And I got a book on this that tells how this is all wired. It's basically, you have your power ground, and then you have an input from the computer that delivers a four, a, up to about a four and a half volt square wave. I guess if you give it 12 volts, eventually it might burn this out. So I was trying to figure out how to mimic that. So I have got a 3.3 voltage regulator, and also for the pickup. For the pickup coil, I was going to try to utilize this. This is the cam sensor out of the back of the same engine used, but it did work when removed, so there's no reason why I don't think this will, will I think this should produce an AC wave. And then I had to come up, like I said, I had to do a lot of research, so I don't even know if this is going to work. This is all just an idea so far. So I ordered a chipboard, and these are um, what's called op end um, operational amplifier. So this should take, from what I've looked on the internet, this, the internet, this should take an AC wave and transfer it to DC, and then all I got to do is put a, a diode after that, and it should transfer it to uh, to a. Uh, to a square wave. So I bought like, I think there's like a 10 of them in there or something. So, yeah, actually here's the information on it. Texas Instruments. Uh, I think it's called a 741. So this will be my first jump into playing around with electronics. So, the idea is to place the sensor in here, put the chipboard if I can over here, and I haven't exactly got all the details worked out, but um, Somehow hide this ignition coil underneath the shroud, and I don't know if I'll be alongside of it, 
or actually probably like this or or something or pack this up some way and put it through it maybe and but the hope is that you know the old spark plug used to come out uh, through the top here and the wire used to go forward so it might even go as easy as to have enough room to strap it to the just on top of this here so I don't know I, this is some kind of brainstorming so but the hope is is I could try to make a system where all I gotta do is give it one hot wire and that's what I want to do and I'm also going to be rewiring this whole thing with the an amp meter and all that so so I don't know if they'll work but I'm going to experiment around a little bit with this and I'm going to try to solder this all up into a board so if it does work I can just you know board it on there so I've got a wiring schematic on how this all goes together and it's just I might try to actually draw something out and show it on later on so that's where I'm at um, like I said I don't, don't know if it will work but at this point it's either that or have a dozen I really if I do do it on the mower I'll probably hide the uh, I'll hide the uh, if I if this doesn't work I'll be going to this this wiring mess here and I think everyone knows how this works and I'll get this and then a regular coil and make this work but the hope is I can make something work that I don't have to have those wiring on all over the place basically I'd have about six wires going to and from the fan shroud including coil wires and everything else but which is which is okay people have been doing that successfully so but um, this is just something I had I had these laying around I thought there's, there's got to be a way basically I need a way to, to something that goes to, to, that uh, works from this to this just so you know I did wire this all up just to see if it worked off of just the AC voltage off of this off of this as an input to that it, it did not fire off of it so now it could be this this uh, this is basically a sensor that this is just like a pickup coil I'm hoping it's got about the same resistance as a uh, you know as a uh, like an ABS sensor or whatever and it puts out probably the same voltage I would guess so I just don't uh, I don't I think this would be okay so that's want to try this and it might just take like a nail or something because it's just a piece of steel that goes on that on that flywheel that flips around and see if I can get it to spark and if I get it to spark then then I know I got something so but yeah the old engine I had a you know when you buy a, uh, an engine from a junkyard like I did you normally they just cut everything off so I have this extra wiring harness with all these connectors so I have the connector and all that so um, and you, you can do this on with most coil on plug this might work but if you do if I do do this you need to make sure that it has a built-in they're, they're calling it Toyota calls it an igniter but basically it just has to have a driver GM General Motors calls it a driver and it operates similar but I think it works off of a it basically grounds out it has a constant four volts and I think it grounds it out to make the spark so it's it's similar but yet different so and uh, you'd have to rewire or reconfigure this to, for that you know too so anyways I'm um, just playing around see how it works try to do right out